I'm Mike Mizek with the local news. We're here at Millvale Days in Millvale, Pennsylvania. Millvale is a borough of Allegheny County. Nestled right up next to Pittsburgh. Let's see what's happening. We got a Spanish fly about to happen, or maybe the teasing one. <laughs> Face kick. Oh. So I'm, uh, we're here with the, I'm Mike Mizak or some shit with the local news, and I'm here with Kurt a wrestling promoter and other stuff guy. Uh, Kurt, uh, what is KSWA look at Millvale Days? Well, what, what do you think of when you, when, when you think of KSWA at Millvale Days? 
So this is probably the first rest like independent wrestling. Wild. It was the first independent wrestling show I was ever at, probably. So I grew up around here um, in Shaler. All my friends lived in Millville. So I've been coming to Millville Day since I was 12 or so. And I remember seeing these guys out here doing their stuff. And I went to like an after party across the street there at what is like that elemental church now. And like got autographs and, and, and all, you know, things that 12 year olds will be into as far as KSWA goes and I don't, I think I've seen all of them since <laughs> it's uh it's great wrestling in a in the street is incredible it's free wrestling it brings everybody together for the best sport that's ever existed so yeah the only good sport yeah it's the best sport um it's like I explain wrestling as being the it's like it's like all the best parts of sports just concentrated into one enjoyable thing. And without the randomness that you might get of normal sports, you could go to one and it could be boring as hell. That's right. Yeah, I, I once went to a Penn State football game that ended six to four. It was the worst. Like how does it even happen? That doesn't happen in wrestling. Wrestling's always great. 100% of the time. They always make it exciting. It, it's a control, uh, you know, it's controlled, obviously, to make it exciting. You're not going to have, a, oops, it's a shutout in wrestling. No, definitely not. No, you're always going to have the, the core components of professional wrestling, the entertainment, the interaction with the crowd, uh, the excitement. It's, it's the best. It's the best sport. The gimmicks. What do you think about this guy's gimmick? Which guy? This guy. The guy, the god gimmick or something? I, I guess he's, a, I don't know, he's um, the regent something Kavad. I'm not quite sure what a regent is. It's something religious. Uh, KSWA is the only company. It's monarchist, I think. Is it monarchist? Interesting. Uh, well, they, 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 KSWA is the only company where the religious guys are good guys. <laughs> Which is something that's telling. But Hey, guys. Buy tickets. Buy a ticket. Are you gonna buy a ticket? Yeah, I'm buying a ticket. Yeah, I'm buying a ticket. Why? Because they're pressuring me into it. This is for uh, the local softball. Local softball team. Do you guys like wrestling? Eh, it's okay. It's okay. It's good. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Do you guys have a favorite wrestler either here or in other wrestling? The Rock. The Rock. The Rock. The Rock. The Rock. I guess. Don't know. Go Roadrunners. Get those tickets sold. Hell yeah. <laughs> I can win <laughs> a backpack cooler. You could win a backpack cooler, a Yeti cooler. A lot of coolers. A uh, rocking chair or a, pro a portable propane grill. Total value over twelve hundred dollars. I hope I win. Do you feel lucky? I, I'm typically not lucky. I usually don't win anything. But I'm proud to give ten dollars to the Lady Roadrunners. There's Trapper. There's Trapper Tom. What's this guy's fucking deal? Trapper Tom is an extremely enthusiastic professional wrestling announcer. He really loves the KSWA, um, and he's a good dude. I, I, I like Trapper Tom quite a bit. So you started your own wrestling organization. Do you think you would have ever done that without the influence of the KSWA? You know, that's a good point. I, uh, yeah, I'm the, one of the owners of Enjoy Wrestling. We run over at Mr. Small's Theater right up the street. Um, and KSWA is a huge influence on us because we would go, you and I. I would also, yeah. Yeah, uh, we would go to the KSWA shows over at the Moose Lodge, which then became Spirit, um, and it was a blast. Because in like the, the influence of KSWA is that they would bring in a bunch of people who were not wrestling fans. You know, like we would go there and we would be standing in the back getting drunk with all of these people and 
it was just like people who walked in off the street because it was something to do. And um, and I think that's the best way to grow professional wrestling in this city and any city is because it's like it's an awesome event and a lot of people don't really consider it as an option for entertainment because it's like it has a reputation for being like you know grizzly and like low class or whatever but once you go there and you drink a few beers and you yell at the wrestlers you realize that it's the best possible form of entertainment and that's that's why that's why we're all here and that's why enjoy wrestling exists because spread that spread that idea so i mean what you're describing is making wrestling fun for everyone and why did you know why didn't anyone think about that <laughs> why didn't anyone think about that um you know that's it's a good question. I, I don't think we're the first person, the first company to think about that. But I also, uh, wrestling kind of gets in its own head sometimes. They like start thinking about how wrestling should be and not what wrestling could be. And I think maybe that's where our niche fits in. We do a lot of stuff that's, I guess, atypical of wrestling. You know, we have a lot of performers who are within the LGBTQ community who represent different sorts of people um and that's kind of who we're trying to reach people who are our friends people who are in the communities that we were into like the punk rock communities the music communities um we know that they'd be entertained by professional wrestling if they gave it a chance and they just need to have the people that to root for that represent them that represent their communities and i think we've been successful at presenting that i think so too i'm very excited about enjoy wrestling Hope to watch it for years to come. Our next show is uh, December 17th at Mr. Small's Theater. It's the Enjoy Odyssey Battle Royal. It's going to be a blast. Um, Y'all should come. Any uh, any teasers for who might show up? Oh, we got uh, Lufisto coming in to wrestle MV Young. That's going to be really cool. She's one of the original intergender pioneers uh, and is like a female deathmatch legend. So it's going to get really wild. Um, and uh, other than that, I, I don't really don't really know what's going on. It's the usual suspects, MV Young, Edith Surreal, The Runway, The Production. We'll keep our eye out for... Uh, we'll keep our eye out for more uh, 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 announcements on who will be participating. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll be there. Maybe we'll cover it. You know, if it's like a big enough event for us. <laughs> it's going to be huge. You should be there. All right. Thank you, Kurt. Love it. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm about to, I'm about to do it. Uh, oh, yeah. We just ran into uh, we, Am I on? Yeah. We just, we just ran into our friend, Toddy. And uh, what's up, Todd? Hey, what's up? I'm trying to uh, find my car because I lost it in the middle of the day. You don't remember where you parked? I like I remember the idea of where I parked, but not specifically where I parked. No. The general concept of where you park. Uh, how have you been having fun at little? Uh, I mean, little regular Millvale days? Uh, it's been all but regular because I lost my car twice, but I did see some wrestling. Uh, that wasn't too, too bad. Are you selling uh, your wares here today or just enjoying the festival? No, I'm just being a, like, just total failure today. I have nothing to sell today. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll drop in your business. It's Brick Body Kids on Instagram. Really good yeah, shit. I sell, I sell clothes. I sell, oh, down it. I sell clothes. I sell clothes at Brick Body Kids on Instagram. Um, tell everyone. Even tell, tell him, too. No, I already know. You don't have to tell me. Uh, Tali, what's the weirdest thing you've seen so far today? Um, I've seen somebody eat a piece of chicken and call it a funnel cake the whole time they were eating it, and it blew my mind. It was the, the, the breading, just like the breading of it, but they were they called it a funnel cake, and to the naked eye, it looked like chicken, and it was chicken. Yeah. They, but did they actually think it was a funnel cake? Well, I don't. I don't understand. They were calling it a funnel cake. So if you, did they just want other people to think it was a funnel cake? I, I'm not that close to the situation. I had saw it from about five feet away. But if somebody starts acting like that, you don't want to be within three or four feet of that stuff. 
No, I would say I would say that is correct. But it was chicken. It was for sure chicken. The breading it was. The breading is why I made it. They thought it was a funnel cake. How long have you been coming to Millvale Day? For about 17 years. Yeah, any uh, any any standout memories? Uh, when I was a kid, I once saw former Steeler Greg Lloyd here. And that's it. I just waved. He waved as a child, so of course there was minimal interaction. But it was cool though, you know, seeing Greg Lloyd and all. But... Are you excited for the Steelers season? Yeah, I'm op optimistic, as they say. As they say. We're going to be about okay, that's fine. Do you sell a lot of Steelers uh, yeah. here? Is that one of your biggest sellers? Yeah, I sell a lot of uh, big graphic Steelers keys from the, the, the 1990s and early 2000s, yeah. So, yeah, that, that's a lot of what I sell. I sell Kunex with the same stuff on them. And, uh, but yeah, I don't want old clothes to end up in landfills. And that's actually why I do it. Obviously, I want to get paid for something I like doing, and I do like doing it, but I don't want like landfills getting filled up with more junk. And uh, I'm sure I throw away enough, I'm sure I'm enough part of the problem. So I don't know, let's just uh, keep clothes around. Thank you, Toddy. Yeah. Yeah, but I'll, I'll join the I'll join the the circus. I'll just come around on the other end now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A gadrack. A gadrack. Uh, here at Millvale Days. Uh, what are you guys doing here at Millvale Days? I am selling my dinosaur hair clips. Yeah. So everything is dinosaurs at my booth. And a gad a gadrack. Are you? Uh, what are you doing here? I'm selling my handmade perfumes and homemade floggers and whips. Nice. What would you say is your most uh, popular uh, 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 fragrance? Probably Mystic Night or Sexy Orchid. And what are what are the characters of those fragrances? Mystic Night is a good blend of like moss and sage and uh, berries as top notes, and then Sexy Orchid is sandalwood, patchouli, violet, orchid with top notes of like grapefruit and bergamot. Can I smell one? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get a nose full of this. And which one is this? Ooh, that's sexy orchid. That's very nice. Ooh, it's got a kind of a more like a bitter after smell there. That's nice. Ooh, Mystic Knight. Mystic Knight, that's something I would wear. That's something I would wear. And where can uh, where can people get your perfumes? Do you have a website for that? I have a website, agadrak.com, which is A-G-A-D-R-A-K.com. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, and my social medias are right there. And What can you tell me about this outfit? Did you make this? I didn't make it, but I put it together myself, finding bits and pieces from different uh, places. So I got the fishnets and the uh, boots from like stripper supply stores. I get the leather from, I got it off of Amazon, but I'm gonna get like independent creators to make more custom ones for me. Um, some of the whips and floggers I made myself and then uh, I just got some like of the good old posh doodads from all sorts of little cracks and crevices of the universe. Some knives, some cuffs, we got all kinds of, got of you got a utility belt. I do. I'm the kinky Batman. Kinky utility belt, very nice. Um, how, uh, how long have you been coming to Millvale days? I've been in Millvale my whole life, and so, but this is my first year as a vendor at Millvale days because my company is new, and this is the first time I can actually vend at Millvale days. Have your dinosaur hair clips been selling? Well? Yeah, actually, this is my first time doing an event, and I'm doing better than I thought. <laughs> uh, excellent. Did uh, who's mostly interested in them? Do we get little girls loving the dinosaur hair clips or are people of all shapes and sizes? I think people of all shapes and sizes. I think like little girls, like the flowers catch their attention, but then once they bring the adults over, then it turns into like everybody likes them. Uh, Very nice. I'm kind of on a mission, like when I was little, I loved dinosaurs so much, but everything dinosaur was like very like boy driven. So I'm on a mission to be like, girls and dinosaur things can be pretty too. Like dinosaurs don't have to be like T-Rexes eating stuff and like on a t-shirt that's blue and green. Exactly. Yeah. They don't have to be a velociraptor. 
ripping 3D style through your shirt in an image. Yeah, and also like skateboarding with a backwards cap. Yeah, it doesn't need to happen. <laughs> well, there, this is very good. Uh, anything particularly strange that we've seen at Millville Days today? Um, oh gosh, <laughs> anything particularly strange or just uh, Millville is happening and it, everybody is out. I know they sometimes can be one and the same. Yeah, they definitely can. Um, I think just uh, weird things like comments that people make. Like somebody walked up to my table and was like, this is great. I'm sorry though, I refuse to wear dinosaurs. And I was like, cool. <laughs> what do I do with that information? I'm sorry. Okay, go somewhere <laughs> else then. It was very confusing. <laughs> uh, any any uh, weird comments from, uh, uh, I'm sure you've gotten some, some comments today. I get literally every comment that you could ever imagine from people just shouting slurs or that I should put pants on or people just going and touching my nipples. Um, I've had... Ask before you touch the nipples? Yeah, they don't ask. I had no, I'm saying they we, should. They sh people should ask before they touch their nipples. They should absolutely ask before touching my nippies. They're covered. They're and so it's like you know. It's like, and you would probably would say yes if they asked. Yeah, like, I I don't have no problem. It's not like they're touching my bare nips, but you know what? Like ask, I guess. That's a problem for sure. Uh, any any particular highlights of of comments? Maybe ones that aren't so bad, but might be just weird or strange. I had a very, very drunk woman today uh, come up to my stand, very excited about my outfit. My sister was down here too. She was getting pictures with us. Took her like 30 minutes to figure out how to take a picture. And then eventually she was like, you know, super energetic. She comes over to my table and was like, I just need something that's like calm and relaxing and nice and eases my mind. I'm like, yeah, you definitely need that. I got just the thing for you. And then I sold her a uh, bottle of perfume and she went on her merry way. I don't think I ever saw her again either. So, yeah. Maybe she smelled the perfume and took a nap? Maybe. She needs a nap. Speaking, who am I speaking? Elise. Elise and David. What are your opinions on? This is controversial here, I'm sure. Hollow cannoli. Yo, I'll be honest, man. I had one thing to eat so far. It was a cannoli from uh, Tambellini, and man, that shit was hollow, man. You know, the one thing I don't like in life is hollow cannolis. They plug them on both sides, the inside's hollow, and some nothing but a big. There's no other. Bigger disappointment than a hollow cannoli. The cannoli is a lie. The cannoli is a lie. It's a propaganda cannoli. About a holy cannoli? Hollow cannoli. cannoli. Oh God, it's not acceptable at all. <laughs> it has to be filled to the max. It has to be gushing out the sides. When you bite in, it needs to be an explosion of the cream. <laughs> did you go to Little Italy Days? We were there selling our cannolis at Bloomfield Italy Days and Butler Italy Days. We got information from someone that they got a cannoli from Tambellini and that it was hollow. What do you say about that? I love you. So, no comment. <laughs> our cannolis are the best. I love the Tambellinis. They're good friends of ours. They have great food, but cannolis are what we do best. <laughs> so you're kind of like a cannoli specialist. They kind of do whatever, but you've got time to focus on the cannoli and perfect. That's right. We uh, we take it very serious here. That's why that's the one thing that you'll see us doing are our cannolis. We do offer water because it gets hot, um, but cannolis are what we do. <laughs> uh, how long have you been coming to Millvale Day? Uh, this is our first year at Millvale Day. Is it working? Uh, is, uh, is business 
going well here at Nova? Yeah, I mean, given the fact it's not an Italian festival, I'm overwhelmed by how many people actually do just love cannolis, even if it's not being an Italian festival, they're loving them, so it's cool. <laughs> Finally, cannolis are in the zeitgeist. Like, how long is it going to take, right? <laughs> you know, it's, it's incredible. I mean, like I said, I, my, I grew up around cannolis, so they were always a thing for me, but I mean, literally anybody and everybody walking by are like, cannolis! And I'm like, yeah, cannolis, cool. <laughs> Anything you want? What's the weirdest? What's the strangest thing you've seen today at Millville Day? Oh God! How much time do you have? <laughs> it's everywhere. It's running rampant. But you know, it's 2022, and I guess it's the world we live in. But there's still. I mean, everyone's everyone's people, and they're great. And we love everybody. All right. Uh, anything you'd like to add? Just maybe something in your thoughts in general before we say uh, bid you adieu. I, just happy to be here. I love that communities still get together and it's important, especially after the years that we've been through with COVID, you know, seeing people together and living life as one again is, is awesome. So I enjoy it. <laughs> Anything to add? No, I just love my wife, love my family. I'm glad we're able to do this together and uh, we look forward to everybody trying to Isabella's Holy Cannoli. So. Name's Jenny from Hometown Tattoo. From Hometown Tattoo, located here in Millvale. And how long has uh, Hometown been located here? We've been here for a year, but we were working here previously for about five years till we moved down here and opened up our own shop. So, so we've been here for a while. And I was told that as far as Millvale days goes, you're probably one of the people who knows most about it. I know some secrets, yeah. I know some Millvale Day secrets, yeah. You know, not a lot to tell about all of them, but I know stuff yeah mm -hmm. well what is uh what, when you think of millvale days what comes to mind what's uh what, what do you what do you think what do you feel uh well millvale days is a holiday around here um pretty much everybody comes out all your neighbors they save up their money if you've lived here long ago and you don't you come back a lot of alumni big barbecue and party time so it's just a a weekend for everybody to get together and enjoy each other's company and let loose a little bit. Mm -hmm. Anything particularly strange or weird that you've seen today? I mean, in Millville, we like to keep it weird every day, so nothing really that abnormal, no. <laughs> Anything too normal that you thought was weird for how normal it was? <laughs> No, I don't think there was any too normal, yeah. <laughs> I think we keep it weird all the time here. You say that there's a, an after festival. Yeah, tomorrow we're having a Millville Days Hangover After Party down at the Riverfront Pavilion from 4 to 8.30. We have three bands and four drag queens, barbecue, drinks, and it's all ages and family friendly. And it's going to help raise money for the Millville youth. It's a nonprofit, all volunteer base. And are you someone who's, who lives in Millville? I am. I've lived here since I was 19 and I'm 37. So that's a long time. You must very much like it here. I sure do. This town saw me turn 21. They saw me turn 30 and everything in between and afterwards. So it's been real good to me here. Uh, when I uh, when I mentioned uh, Mr. Small's Theater, uh, if, you, if you're from here, I'm sure you've been to quite a few shows there. Any that stick out in particular in your memory? I was just there the other day and saw Thursday, so I got to live like my teenage childhood watching Thursday play just the other day. At the same venue? Mm -hmm, at Mr. Small's, yeah. So you would have seen Thursday how many years ago? It was their 21 year anniversary. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> so you would have seen him like way back then as well? Yeah, I would have saw, I think the first time I saw him I was like 15, so yeah, they're the, the kick ass. Is that one of your favorite bands, Thursday? No, they're not my favorite, but they definitely have a special place in my heart. And, you know, we got some really cool bands playing tomorrow. We got the Zells, we got the Dumplings, and the Miller and the Entenoid. So, I mean, this guy's all kick butt. Any, uh, any other local favorites uh, 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 music-wise? Oh, all those bands are all locals, all Rivertown kids who grew up around here who just wanted to, like, follow their dreams and play music and make it happen. What's your reaction to if someone says that Millvale has a uh, juggalo uh, 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 reputation? I mean, I drink Fago all the time. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> whoop, whoop. So whoop, whoop is here? 
Yep, whoop whoop's my answer. Whoop whoop. Uh, <laughs> oh, as 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 in they can't see it, but as a dunk tank goes, that's that's kind of dark carnival kind of gathering style thing. Dunk tank. I was I do the dunk tank every year. I was in there for an hour earlier, and I was over there taking pies in the face for about a couple hours this morning too. I'm all about it. <laughs> Have you ever seen ICP? No, but I really want to go to the gathering so bad. <laughs> What would what what would the circumstances have to be? Would it have to be kind of close, or maybe like the what, what would what would it, uh, make it happen for you to go to the gathering? I think the stars just have to align for me. I'm I've been trying to go for years, but there's quite a few people who have been around here, and they'll tell you all about it. So a group of if a group of friends were like, "Hey, we're gonna get a bus and we're going down to the gathering this year," would you would you say, "I'm doing it. I'm doing it finally." I'd be like, "Sign me up. Let's go." I got my Fago. Favorite flavor of Fago? Root beer and red pop. Spotted lantern flies have you killed today? Two. Uh, is, do you have a high score for most in a day? I do not know. Mm -hmm. So, did you keep it maybe on a steady kill a couple a day type thing? I try to get average anywhere from one to three day if I can, you know, just doing my part for everybody. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, any, uh, what about wrestling, uh, wrestling at, at uh, Millville days? How do you feel about? Uh, any any thoughts, feelings about the wrestling that has gone on down here over the years? Wrestling's a legend down here. You know, everybody like parks their chairs out there and waits hours until it starts. And sometimes they'll even come the night before and put their chairs out before anything's set up. So we take it pretty serious around here. <laughs> serious wrestling enthusiasts. Uh, what do we think about Joe Biden? Oh man, you know, I was real, I'll be honest, I was real pumped for Joe because I really wanted to get, you know, who kicked out of the White House here, but, you know, I think, I think it has to be real hard to like run things and figure it out, so I feel like as a person who tries to do things for people, it's super hard and a lot of pressure, you know, so maybe you just need some time to fill it out and work it out, you know, I think it's just hard. What about, uh, um, Local local representation here in Millvale. Any thoughts on who who, who represents here? Is it Sarah Namorado? Yes, it is. Sarah's awesome. She actually just walked in the parade today with the Millvale youth. So she handed out candy and walked. And she shows up to everything down here for her community. I'm 
I think she's super inspiring and impressive. We did free back to school haircuts and clothes giveaway and she came down with a bunch of back to school stuff and decorate pencil box with the kids in the community and I think every event we have here she comes down and helps out so I think she's great. Sarah Moore your speed. Sarah's definitely my speed yeah she has a special place in my heart I love her. Uh, anything you'd like to add here while we uh, 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 say uh, bid you would do? Yeah. I would say hey why don't you guys all come down to that party down by the river tomorrow and help us raise some cash. That sounds awesome. Uh, and if people want to get tattooed by you, where, where do they go? They come down to Hometown Tattoo. In Millvale on, what street are we on? We're on Grant Ave. Hometown Tattoo on Grant Ave. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. I think, uh, I think my car is like down that way. How long has it been since you've seen your car? What time is it now? What time is it now? Does anybody know? Uh, well, I will say about four hours ago, five maybe. Uh, this is John and Sam. John and Sam here at uh, Millvale Days. Are you guys regulars at Millvale Days? Uh, yeah, yeah. You can come down to Millvale a lot, actually. Uh, our friend Ed bartends at Cousins, so um, yeah, we're down here to hang out with him pretty, you know, often. And, and uh, John goes to Attic a lot too. So a lot of a lot of Millvale friends. We live up in Bloomfield, so we end up down here a lot. What are you guys eating? These are uh, hot sausages from Cousins. Yeah, I uh, just got it out in front of Cousins. Um, some guy had a big crock pot. We said, hell yeah, I got one. I don't know. <laughs> That's the call. That's the call. To me. That's the call for sure. Uh, anything uh, Anything super weird you guys have seen? Uh, yeah. <laughs> a lot. I mean, it's early. It is early. It's, uh, I don't know, like 5 o'clock in Millville. The night is young. But, what is, but, but, but you laughed. What, is, what have you seen weird so far? What have we seen weird? I don't know, dude. You laughed. I don't know. Uh, there's, a, there's a cop that looked like you. Uh, there was a bike gang. A bike gang. Yeah, the pagans did walk through. Yeah, the pagans did walk through. Um, other than, uh, there was a small child and just some underwear walking through the street uh, with nothing else on. I did see actually walking into Cousins. We're going to need to find that cop. I'm sorry. Yeah. What do you feel about, how do you feel about that there's a cop that looks like you somewhere? Uh, well, when I saw her, 
initially, I thought she was kind of hot, and then, uh, and then they said she looked like me, so that was very validating, you know? <laughs> Okay, the silver lining. Would you ever become a cop? Ah, uh, no, no. I, not, not for me. Not for me, no. <laughs> I like, uh, I like uh, firefighters better, you know. I'd rather do that. If I had to be a public servant in some way, yeah. I don't know. Firefighter, EMS. Uh, any opinions on cops? Do you like cops? What's up? Uh, just uh, cops that... No. 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 Okay, okay. That's a guy. What you call that a gotcha question in this industry? Yeah. And I got your ass. How do you feel about getting got? Getting what? Getting got. Getting got. I got got at Millbell Days, so I think it's okay. Um, I've only had one one beer so far, so if I had more beers, maybe I'd be. No, I'm good. I'm good. I got got. It's fine. It's Millbell Days. Uh, uh, opinions on on uh, Biden, Joe Biden. Uh, He's a guy that's old and, you know, he's, it's what we want for, I guess. He was just the lesser of two evils. I don't really, it's bit, you know, yeah. Um, uh, 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 what about the other guy, Trump, uh, Donald Trump? Oh, he's a piece of shit criminal. Yeah. No, he's bad dude, bad dude. He sucks, very bad dude. I don't know, what do you want me to say? <laughs> Terrible businessman celebrity that somehow ended up where he is now. What about Dr. Oz? He belongs to the same cult. Um, I have a lot of family in rural western Pennsylvania, and driving out to see my family, I see a lot of signs for this cult, and it's very strange. Uh, bad dude. Bad dude. Super bad dude. Yeah. John fed him. You know, when I go on bike rides in the morning uh, through Braddock, I see him walking, and you know, I kind of, you know, he's like give him a, like a nod or whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. I, I don't know. He seems all right. Legalize it, 420, whatever. I don't know. So he's for you. He's like a guy that's around. So is that like kind of appealing to like? I guess I'll vote for the guy I know. You're asking me questions about stuff that I don't feel like I'm like super educated on, but I think Fetterman, as far as just like a lot of his like stances on like, you know, like just being being more like community. He's from he's from Pennsylvania. He he was mayor Braddock for so long. You know, like I think he's he's more a person of the people where like Dr. Oz is like not. You know, he's not from fucking Pen. Sorry, he's not from Pennsylvania. He's a bad dude. Uh. Fetterman, Fetterman looks like a guy that I would want to front my hardcore band. I would want him to tell the crowd to open up the pit. And I'd like to think that Fetterman would be on the ground more than the stage most of the time. So I, I really want Fetterman to just like show up at one of my shows and grab a mic and go to town. So, Dr. Oz, I don't, I don't think Dr. Oz would do that. I think he'd be uh, turned off by loud rock and roll music. How many spotted lantern flies have you killed today? I killed uh, zero. She killed. Three. Oh, how many? I killed three today. I killed one against uh, uh, Howlers, old Howlers, when I was walking by, and I, uh, I put my foot on the actual side of the building and killed it. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. Thank you for thank you for your serve. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, listen to Fuck Yeah Dinosaurs. The rock and roll band. That's your rock and roll band. Yeah, that's my rock and roll band. Uh, listen, listen to listen to the bird rides. They're great. Uh, I'm in the bird rides. It's a ska band. We sing about uh, smoking weed and you know just being ska. Oh, with Angry Dan. Yeah, yeah, Angry Dan. He's kind of angry. I don't know. He's, he's a sweet dude, but yeah, yeah I, get, I get why people call him that. <laughs> and Jerry, I love Jerry. Sweetheart, for sure. All right, we will drop the burn rides and we will drop fuck yeah dinosaurs thank you for your time happy millvale day does, wait wait one last question does does millvale have a uh, ju a reputation for being a place for juggalos uh i've heard a lot of folklore and legend about millvale being a safe haven for juggalos um is that why you wore the new metal shirt yeah you know i figured uh limp biscuit juggalos uh, Woodstock 99, ICP. Woodstock, or, uh, ICP and Limp Bizkit played it. The rumor is that ICP took the money.
from Woodstock 99 and started the gathering of the jugglers. And now they're going like 20 years strong. Yeah. So, whoop, 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 whoop. shows at Mr. Small's, the venue that's been here for probably 20 plus years. I've only been there twice, um, but from what I saw, it was really, really cool there. Do you remember what the shows were? Well, one of them was for Millville Music Days, and they played a couple of different bands. One of them was Grave Birth, which was really, really cool. I got a t-shirt, and I follow them on like all social media now. The other one, I can't think, it was Fuck Yeah Dinosaurs. I can't remember, but they were also really cool. I uh, ever been to a show at Mr. Small? I went to one show like 2015 or 16 when they had the Pittsburgh plays Petty. And, and uh, oh, oh, it was a Tom Petty tribute? Yeah, yeah, it was all the tribute songs. Don't eat yellow snow. And don't take the brown acid. Oh, and one final, final, final. How many uh, spotted, spotted lantern flies have you killed today? Oh my gosh, I saw my first one today, and I was putting a little temporary tattoo on a little girl, and she's like, ew, there's a bug, and I picked it up, and I was like, look how cool this bug is, and my friend grabbed it out of my hand, and he's like, you have to kill those. So I saw my first one today. I didn't kill it, but I didn't know, so. I think I killed seven before I even came down to Millvale. Just today? Just today, yeah. I've only killed three, personally. Rick, how many have you killed? Uh, probably dozens, if not hundreds. <laughs> I, I saw a whole bunch at Kennywood last week, and we were standing in line for the roller coaster, just stomping them the whole time. It was great. It was the time of my life. Toddy, get back in the in front of the camera again. How many spotted lantern flies have you killed today? Oh, I've killed none today, but I'll tell you what. I'm a little afraid of that uh, they're going to uh, know, like they're going to trace it back, who kills who. So I'm trying to avoid killing them all together, but I do understand that they're an uh, issue, I suppose. It's hard killing stuff, too. Like, I don't want to do it, but I'm told to do it, kind of that thing. I'm, how many, how many have you done? Zero? Today, seven. <laughs> well, will we get a, an overall estimate? Probably hundreds at this point. Uh, thank you for your service. That's actually very good. I probably have only killed like 60, but a lot of them have been the past two days. I did a parkour over a chest high fence yesterday to stomp one. 
dead. What's up with your water pressure? Water pressure is absolutely hitting. Uh, Millville water, Shaler water. If I could give one thing to the neighbor, it'd be water pressure. Love it. And who am I speaking to? My name is Alec Munson, and I own B-Sides Vintage here in Millville. Cool. And we are currently in, in the shop. And you just carry, uh, you do, it's just like a resale vintage uh, joint? Yeah, uh, secondhand, anything. Vintage isn't really the word anymore. Now it's just recycled. Anything secondhand, we're, we're in the game for it. We love it. Yeah. Millville days. What's the weirdest shit you saw today so far? Uh, I'll show you, actually. The weirdest thing was... That guy brought me this uh, little... I think it's a, a dish towel that is made into a bunny. And he said, $5. And I said, take a sweater. And he tried to hit me in the face. He got really angry with me. And then he gave one to my girlfriend and one to me. He took hers back, but not mine. So I got to keep mine. So I don't know what that means in terms of equality, but... God damn it. But he didn't take a sweater? He didn't take a sweater, but he just insulted my girlfriend violently, and then I got to keep the plastic uh, dish towel bunny. So that's my middle of the day memory this year. What do you think about that strategy of, sort of uh, um, what is that? What, what, would you call, what would you call that? Drive, drive by craft selling? I'd say it's pretty fucking weird. I'd say it's pretty, probably the weirdest maneuver you could take. Um, I'd probably leave it with the, the with, yeah, I would. It's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. How long have you guys been here? Uh, two years. June this year was two years. So we're just uh, open mid-COVID, and we're just shuffling through, trying to figure it out just like everybody else. Uh, for, so uh, are you a Millvale guy? Did you grow up here? Uh, I grew up in the North Hills, but I'm currently a Millville resident. I live right here on Grand Avenue, right where the store is. I can walk here. I'm late every day, but I still live right here on Grand Ave. So, yeah, you have to drag my lifeless corpse out of Millville to get me out of here now. It's Millville days, baby. How about the wrestling? Did you see some wrestling? Did you watch some wrestling? I had to work through the wrestling. It's, that was my selling point to get people down here, because 
where you're gonna see live fucking wrestling in like a kind of city neighborhood but I haven't seen any of it but I wish I did pretty much Millvale these days for wrestling KSWA for for uh, Millvale days and enjoy wrestling at uh, Mr. Small has Eden and is ready to put this thing away oh no wait Eden is biting hop into the fire Mr. Small's long-standing uh, venue here. Can you remember what your first show was there? Yeah, um, my fr- it's kind of embarrassing. Like, I, I was, I was uh, 14 years old and I saw Big Sean, the rapper, at uh, Mr. Small's. I was, uh, I was in like seventh grade, I think, and I saw Big Sean there. Hey man, thanks for having me. Thanks. Really appreciate your support. Keep on rocking in the free world, Big Sean and... Thanks for having me. And do do the loot, do. All right. You- Almost, Big Sean. Do do the loot. Do do the loot. Do. Okay, security, get this nigga off me, please. <laughs> do the loot. Do. Do do. Yeah. <laughs> Was it one of those whack ass rap shows where? The, the the headliner comes on at like t- 12. Yes, he's late as hell, and I had taken like my first sip of beer that night, I think, so I thought I was gonna, I thought every time you drank, you're gonna throw up. So I was like, I took a couple sips of beer, and I was like, I'm gonna die here, and it's just him going, hands up. I'm like, bro, I can't do this. Like, please, let me just listen to the music and go home. I don't even wanna be here to begin with. My, my uh, older self is punching my younger self for going to that show. Yeah. My most recent show, though, King Gizzard at uh, Mr. Smalls. So I, I grew up a little bit. I guess that's good. Yeah, yeah. Any any other really notable ones that come to mind? Yeah, um, kind of funny, but it's like my uh, my like high school self loves it. it was, my girlfriend and I saw Starfucker at Mr. Smalls, and they brought these astronauts out, like just guys in astronaut costumes, like dancing. They had a cover of "Girls Just Want to Have Fun." I want to be the one to walk in the sun. Girls, they want to have fun. Oh, girls just want to have. It was like one of those moments in life where I was like. This is so, why didn't I think of this shit? Like this is so fucking cool. And I was like, a, I just I had to have like dumb face on. I'm like, like sitting there just smiling at the stage. It was so cool. Yeah, but Mr. Smalls is amazing institution in Millville. Uh, how many spotted lantern flies have you killed today? Two. I killed two two yesterday, two today. Thank you for your service. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, I mean, it's a, it's a noble man's work. Somebody has to do it though, so I get it. Yeah. What do you think about Millvale's reputation as a, as a, as a juggalo town? Uh, as a Millvale resident, I want to say I don't get it, but I do get it. Uh, as a store owner, I want to pander to the neighborhood. I bought about 10 ICP shirts, and they were all gone in a week. But uh, Well, that's some sort of evidence right there. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's evidence. It's for sure. Yeah, it's maybe a juggalo town. I think it's on its way to being a, like a really inclusive gay neighborhood, which I fucking love. Like... I think the next five years of Millville are going to be powerful. It's going to be really, really cool down here. It's going to be like a really welcoming space to a lot of people. So I think it's really cool. I love what everyone's doing down here. Any, 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 anything to add? Maybe that's just something on your mind that maybe we haven't talked about. Maybe something you fuck with that you want people to know about. I mean, I fuck with the ranch at Frank's Pizza. We need something new, but that's also a classic. Heather, watch the shop. I'm going to New York. Tony, 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 you come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding. Dawn, as you know, we've had a lot of success. We have four locations in Pittsburgh, and people love us. But people want something more from us, something new that's also a classic. And what is more classic than a New York pizza? Tony, you know I like you. You've done well for us with your four locations in Millville, Shayla, Troy Hill, and the North Hills. Here's what I'll do for you. I'll give you one of my best New York style pizza makers. Big Frankie, I have a job for you. Frank's Pizza, now selling the Big Frankie at our Millville location. I fuck with the Attic Record store. It's the summer's hottest and biggest music blowout. That's right, the attic. 
513 Grant Avenue in Millville is having the Tri-State's biggest and hottest end of summer blast. And I fuck with B-Size Vintage, and I fuck with you guys for asking me to speak. I appreciate you guys having me to fucking talk. It means a lot. Yeah. Well, thanks for talking to us. We'll definitely drop a link. <laughs> All right, and... Uh, Farmer, uh, Farmer Josh. Farmer Josh. Give Rick a pickle. That. I need a Rick pick. <laughs> Toddy, how's the pickle? I ate a piece of my hair, too. <laughs> the pickle good hair. Not good. <laughs> what flavor is it? D-I-L-L dill. <laughs> Rick, what, can I get a pickle review? It's salty and good. <laughs> I like it. I approve. Farmer, Farmer Josh makes these. Farmer Josh makes these pickles. I guess we'll have to go to talk to yeah, Farmer like Josh Josh. now. Yeah. Here with Farmer Josh, the proprietor of uh, these delicious pickles that Toddy and Rick just ate. Um, do you grow the cucumbers for your pickle? All these are homegrown. Everything is, you know, organic. And, yeah. Have you been doing good business here at Millville Day? We have been absolutely crushing it down here. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of good people, and we've been selling pickles, shirts, hats, peppers, hot sauce, you name it. <laughs> Hell yeah. What, did, how much pickles did you prepare for this for this event? I did 90 jars. That's nine hours of work. And it seems like you only have about 20, 25 or so left here. Yeah, we've been uh, we've been making a lot of sales, and uh, people seem to like it, so we'll be back every time. What's the weirdest thing you've seen so far here at Millville Day? Uh, we saw some kids eat some Carolina Reapers that I brought, and they chugged a gallon of milk to... You know, soothe themselves, which was necessary. So, pretty awesome, and they held it down. So good for them. How many spotted lanternflies have you killed? Them? I will never kill a spotted lanternfly. Oh wow, this is controversial. This is the first. This is the first uh, answer that we've got to this. Now, what's your reasoning with that? I let the spiders take care of that. What do you think about Millvale's reputation as a juggalo town? Oh my god. Uh, I don't know, but I think they would want me to say woo woo. Woo woo. Is that how that goes? Yeah, woo woo. Woo woo. Do you perceive Millvale as like a juggalo place? I think it's a uh, juggalo haven mostly, but uh, I think everyone's pretty cool with it, I guess. Um, so if that's your bag, right on. Do you think that's because Millvale's like kind of like accepting? Millville is clearly accepting. Uh, the library is awesome, and they also have tons of books to read up on history of Juggalos if you go into the deep, deep archives. So check it out. Uh, so Millvale, of course, most people know Millvale for the music venue. I feel like most people in the Pittsburgh area. Can you remember what your first show was at Mr. Small's? Oh, man, it was... I, I, went to, I wanted to go see from first to last, but uh, I didn't make it because uh, my mom was like, no way, you're like too young to go down there. But How old were you? I was in seventh grade. So, kind of reasonable, but screw you, mom. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's borderline. That's, you know, that... For me, I feel like it would have been a, a coin toss if I was allowed to go. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'll take it up with her later this night. <laughs> no, I haven't been to one good show there. What's the worst one? I haven't been to any shows since. I was told you I wasn't allowed to go. I've been banned. Since oh, shit. Since then. I have not been, and uh, I, I still won't go until she allows me to. So. <laughs> until she allows you to still. Yeah, it, yeah, it's a weird thing, but whatever, what are you going to do? It's my mom, you know? So. <laughs> oh, can't you just not tell her and go anywhere? I'm just literally No, no, no. I, uh, I should probably text her now. It's, you know, I should probably let her know where I'm at. It's, been, it's getting kind of late out here. Do you approve of your pickle cell? Of course. I would just like to thank uh, B-Sides when they come down here and uh, you know, sell some pickles and you know just hang out. You know? Having a great time here at Millville. Thank you very much for your time. Oh!
Okay, wait. So, so do you like the? Do you like this? No, not at all. You don't like Godsmack cover bands? Do you like Godsmack the original? Yes, I do. Kind of weird. Yeah. So, so, and your name is Jack. My name's Jack. Yes. And this video store in the world. I've been here 52 years. So this video store has been yours all 52 years of its existence. Yes, it has. Is it the last video store in, Pitts, in the Pittsburgh area? Well, I, I don't know. I really don't know. But I, I did know, I found out somebody come in from uh, Guinness and says the oldest video store in the world, which I didn't know. Wow, so we may be in the oldest video store in the world. <laughs> so I was going to, well, I've been asking people how long they've been coming to Millville days, but for you, it's been since the beginning. The most. Yeah, yeah, my dad was here before me too. So we have the electronic stores too, and then the Jack's videos here. So you grew up in Millville? I did not, I wasn't born in Millville, but uh, right out of high school I was right here. Yes. How many spotted lantern flies have you killed today? How much what? How many spotted lantern flies have you killed today? None! <laughs> None at all! Uh, okay, so what do you think about Millville's reputation as a place where uh, a place for uh, where there are juggalos juggalos you know are you familiar with the 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 the, the phenomenon of juggalo no i am not so what is a juggalo he just don't care he might try to put a weave in his nut head uh, it's just fans of the detroit rap group insane clown posse okay i still don't know you ever seen people walking around with the shirt on that's just like a jester clown face? No. Or <laughs> or a tattoo of a guy going like this with a hat. No. 
<laughs> okay, well. I'm stuck inside too long. I don't know. I must be indoors too much. Well, if you want to learn a little about a, a bit about what some of these kids are doing out here, you look up the insane clown posse. Not my thing, but a lot of people seem to like. Okay, all right. I'm gonna tie, have to look it up then. What's your more speed music one? I'm a Beatles fan. Beatles. So I like 60s rock. Yes, 60s and 70s. Yes, a little bit of 80s. This is just too over the head for me. Yeah, yeah. This is a, this came out when I was in middle school. I liked it then, but not for very long. Uh, how about movies, movie wise? So you're a DVD guy. What's uh, what's your wheelhouse for for movies? What's kind of what kind of gets you going with the movie? I like every movie, comedy, horror, action. I like the brand new Top Gun that just came out. That's like the best movie I've seen in ten years. Oh, big, big praise, Tom big Cruise praise. Fan. I'm not a Tom Cruise fan, but he did a great job in this movie. So we should go see the new top. Got to go see the new top. Definitely. I will take that advice. Uh, what about ho horror? Horror? You got a horror guy? I watch them all. Have them all. You see Nope yet? I have not seen that. I, I just the last one I seen. I just saw the brand new uh, Paranormal Activity that came out last week. What you think about? I like the first one, but as they get older, they get a little worse. You know. How about a favorite movie of all time? Oh, Christmas Vacation. Best That's a solid comedy. What's that? It's a solid-ass comedy. Definitely the best movie of all time. I could put that on and make me laugh anytime. Yes. Even in the middle of the summer? Middle of summer. In fact, I play that in Elf in July. And when customers come in, they'll say, Jack, where are you going? They know it's on. It's on right now, probably, inside the store. So do you do online selling? Where can people find you online? Um, I'm not really that much online. I'm more of just around the area. Okay, so people got to come down here to Gray. They got to come see me. Yes. Yes. Hold it. No video if you don't know Jack. Nobody's well, going to put Humpty Dumpty together again. Do you understand? He is gone. He is finished. They have my files. Everything's great. Millball Days is great. This is all my family, so I'm happy just to be here. Well, thank you very much for your time and the water. Okay. <laughs> Have a good one. I Thanks. Find out when the jungle over. <laughs> <laughs> that was good because I didn't know. I thought, okay, whatever. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Now I, we like we like jungle. Uh, uh, I said fly.
watching the local news if you'd like to ensure that i don't eat sawdust for dinner this month go to patreon.com slash the local news pgh for exclusive videos and other exclusive content thank you